welcome back to my channel, Sunita here. What do I do? How is everybody? I hope everyone is fantastic. So um, I'm just going to do a little chatty video with you guys today um, because I want to do like a little bit more chatty videos. Um, I was going to do like a get ready with me, but I kind of just want to talk through this and have it on my channel. This is me holding myself accountable. So I'm it's going to be like accountability um, me, for me. Um, so obviously 2022 has started we're well underway and I really wanted to make 2022 like the absolute best that I could possibly make it. Um, so I started reading this book. Hold on, I just need to turn the book mark around because it's my, of my daughter. So I've got this book. It's called The Miracle Morning. It's from Hal Elrod. And it's the six habits that will transform your life before 8am. And everybody who's close to me knows I am a notorious night owl. I like to be up late because like, my whole day is centered around work, my kids and everything. So when it becomes, when it comes to the evening, that's my time. It's time for me to like catch up on things. And so I'll tend to do all of that stuff when um, the house is quiet and i would be able to just concentrate. But I wanted to change that because I wanted to be more of a morning person and I wanted to just change my outlook. This book, I think, has revitalised me. And the reason for this video is because I'm about to read the last chapter. I'm on chapter 10 and I'm about to go and start a 30 day challenge. So when I started this book, I wanted to wake up um, at 6 a.m. So that was my goal. I wanted to wake up at 6 a.m., which gave me about two hours before I was due to leave the house um, to get some of these things done that they say that successful people do. And in like the first two chapters of this book, it literally kept on saying, are you mediocre? 95% of people do not reach their full potential. And I just looked at myself like, that is not going to be me. I'm not mediocre. I'm far from mediocre. And I don't, I don't want to be mediocre. I want to live, I want to be in that 5%. I want to live to my full potential. So how am I going to do that? Um, so one of the things that it was for me to start getting up at 6am. So I had already started that when I started reading this book. And then it started talking about not snoozing because your you snoozing is um, like not living your best life, not living up to your full potential. And I was already like, you already told me that I'm going to be mediocre, that I'm not going to be. So hold on. Let me try this snooze thing. And when I tell you, I'm a snooze queen. So, you know, I like to go to sleep late. I'm the snooze queen. I read that chapter in that book and I made a conscious effort. And I said to myself that night, because I was reading it in the evening before I went to bed. I said to myself that night, I'm waking up without snooze tomorrow. I'm just going to wake up at 6am when my alarm goes off. And I have been doing that. I'm so proud of myself. I have been doing that ever since I read that chapter. And I think I'm on like day, I'm on like day 18 or 19 because I've definitely been doing this for more than 20. I've been waking up at 6 a.m. for more than 21 days. Um, but I definitely know I was still snoozing um before that. Um, but now no snooze. My I, I've got um a fitness tracker, so my fitness tracker goes off at six. My alarm, my phone, which I use for my alarm, is actually on my dressing table. So I have to physically get out of bed to go and switch it off. And I do that. And I, I can't tell you how proud of myself I am. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. So in this book, it was, tells you about save. Basically, the acronym is SAVERS. So it's silence, affirmation, visualisation, exercise, reading and scribing. Those are the, um, the six things to do in the morning. I haven't done all of those things, but slowly as I've been reading the book and as the days have gone on, I started to incorporate these things small, small into my routine. So I don't snooze anymore. I wake up at 6 a.m. Don't get me wrong. Some days I'm really tired. Sometimes, some days I don't want to get out of bed, but I, I, I say to myself, are you mediocre? mediocre people snooze. Me? I'm not that. 
<laughs> so that's what I tell myself. Um, and I get out of bed. Um, and then so for, for me, for silence, I literally just sit at my at the end of my bed in the total darkness and I literally just breathe for a few minutes. Um, I then, um, so I've started to like build my affirmations. I've started to like look at things that I want to affirm. What do I want to bring into my life? Um, what do I want to manifest into my life? Um, so I've started doing that and I've got a list on my phone. So now I take my phone with me in the bathroom. So while I'm brushing my teeth, I do my affirmations. Visual visualization I'm finding quite difficult. I know kind of what I want my life to look like and who am I who is Sunita um but that's something that I really need to like kind of like work on I kind of know like what kind of house I want to live in um so I use the service called free prints um because I got an I that idea of TikTok a lady had done her vision board and she did free prints and she just printed everything out because obviously not in the office can't use the printer app <laughs> in the office to print my stuff um and it's free you just pay for delivery and i've been doing that for um photos anyways and um, like for like my family photos so i thought hey why not do it for my vision board they literally it's literally just arrived yesterday so it's something i'm going to do at the weekend i think i'm going to get like i've got all these new like felt tip pens these gel pens and all sorts and i'm going to make my vision board this week and i think i'm going to make it like a crafting session um with my kids and get them involved and get them to do like something for themselves um so i'm really looking forward to that um so the challenge i haven't read the challenge i don't actually know what the challenge is but i know it's going to be to do your savers find out how to do it so um i'm going to read that and then i'm going to update this video before i post it um so that you guys know the 30 days i am also going to daily document my journey on this i might do it as a vlog i thought i was going to do it like as mini tiktoks um but I might just do it as a mini vlog and do like a weekly update. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I don't know if I can. Because being a vlog, it's going to be quite repetitive. And I think TikTok is probably the place for that rather than YouTube. Um, but I'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to read that and this in the next couple of days and set myself up. Because I want to start this on the 1st of February. Um, I have been exercising. Um, I exercise twice a week and it's actually three times a week because I actually do a swimming lesson um, with my son as well. Um, and then I do two um, exercises. I've also signed up for a heels and feels class um, because I, I really want to like learn to dance. Not, not like I can't dance. I can dance very well. Thank you. Um, but I want to learn like choreography um, with my heels and everything. And I've done a taster session of it um, before we went into lockdown and I loved it. I'm very uncoordinated, I realise. I realise I could shake my booty, but I can't um, dance or retain choreography. <laughs> I literally needed to watch. I needed to have somebody like in front of me to help me. But anyways, I digress. I signed up for that. And I'm, this year, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone. We are not staying in this lane. No how, no how. Um, another thing that's going to help me be a better version of myself, which is what I'm working on, is um, I've got this um, organiser. And I um, have just started like basically daily planning my life and like what I need to do, like important things, making sure I've got important dates and everything. And literally I get this out every single day and it's just so, so helpful for me. This is another, li listen, when I tell you I've got books for days on organisation and what I'm doing in my life. This is my like notes book. I literally write everything down in it. If I've got an idea I've got like to organ like I organized my son's first birthday. Um, I did this um thing the other day where I wrote down all my goals. I've literally gone back, I've got my goals in this book since 2019. Sorry, that's a lie. 2020. I laugh at the 2020 goals because geez, nothing happened there. Um, and then I got the 2021 goals, and again, I didn't I didn't do much. 
basically i write down goals and i haven't done it and this year it's all about execution um no like we've just been surviving these last two years and this year is literally about just kicking everybody's ass and just getting it done so 2020 i'm really focusing i what i've done is i've broken it up and it's kind of like self-development finances and family i think i was too broad and i was too like i had it too wide like it wasn't like like there wasn't points where I could literally pick it at it. And I think those are the things that I kind of like I want to work on. Um self-development for me is really, really key. I want to be like more self-aware of myself. I want to develop myself. Let me read you this quote because when I read this quote in this book, it literally just threw me off. And it was like, this is just it. This is everything that I was just looking for. I want to go back and read this um, book again. Oh, where is it? I highlighted it. Because it does say to go through and highlight it. But I started to do that. But I realised that I kind of like wasn't fully taking the book in enough. And I needed to just read the book and then go back and read it. Here it is. This is, this is like literally everything that could, this could possibly be. Our levels of success will rarely exceed our level of personal development because success is something we attract by who we become. Let me read that one again to you. Just take it in. Just listen to what I'm saying. Our levels of success will rarely exceed our level of personal development because success is something we attract by who we become. So by, I, from this, what I took from this was the more I work on myself, the more success will come towards me, the more opportunities will come towards me because I'm now I'm open. I've opened that door myself. I've pushed it open. I've slid it open. So one of the things I also did um, is I just told my boss at work, I want to do more. Um, I don't want to just be a personal, um, a personal development. I don't want to just be a personal assistant. I want to do more. I feel like I've got more in me. And instead of just being in the background, like quietly doing things, I have to pick myself up and put myself out there. And I did that today. Also, I presented one of our projects with, two, I'm working on a project with two other girls and I presented my piece of the project and I was really, really happy. It was just to a small group and it's now going to go to the wider leadership team, which I'm really, I'm nervous about, about but I'm excited about because the project is really exciting. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like pushing myself out of my comfort zone, not doing the norm. No longer am I just going to be in the background, not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so yeah, this book has got literally like all my ideas on it. And it's, and it actually says, live bright, be bold and sparkle. And I've literally had this for like, this is going on my third year now. And my sister got it for me for my birthday. And it embodies everything, like be bright, be bold, be sp sparkle, like all of it. <laughs> we can do it um another thing that's helping me just be productive and be the better version of myself i got this planner it's called the pretty perfect product planner um i've been using it to like plan out my days and everything um so it has um my, your top priorities your what you want to accomplish in the morning Things that you just, so I've just got a running list of things that I need to do and I just keep adding to it and I just pull it over onto the next day and then a full daily schedule. And looking at today, um, if I look at it, I actually achieved everything, everything that I did. Uh, everything that I wanted to do today, I did. Um, and then my things to get done is something that I actually have to consciously not sit down and actually do. Um, so yeah. That is where I'm at. And then not to top to, to top it all off, I'm not only trying to get my life in order, I'm getting my family's life in order. So we've got busy making plans. It's a um I won't I'll try and find one where I haven't filled it out because oh yeah, this is easy. So it's oh, actually not. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's get just get a blank one. Um so it's literally got columns down the side and you can put in each family member's name so i put in my husband's name my name two kids and then family time and literally just go down it so any play dates any projects any date nights any family days out 
any family occasions where we're doing stuff with all like not just our little family like the extended fan like all of that can go in there so that's what is there sorry it's upside down so it's there and you've got that for every month so i've started filling um that in as well and that's going to go up in our bedroom so that we can literally see it oh i didn't realize it had stickers in it oh that's clever oh found something new um so yeah i'm doing that so I've literally got everything I possibly can, can to be in a really good place. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. It's this I probably just rambled now for um, a, few, a long time. So just to wrap it up and close it, this video is to sh for me to show my accountability. 1st of February, we're going to start our savers um, properly like fully documenting everything. I have been getting up at the time I wanted to get up. I might need to get up maybe 15 minutes earlier, but I'll adjust that um, as the challenge goes on. So let me just put up um, what it is that I'm going to do. So one, I'm going to finish the Miracle Morning 30 day challenge, starting that the 1st of February. So I need to read the challenge before the 1st of February, get that started. I've kind of got all of my savers um, ready and in place and I've been doing some of them as well to get myself ready for this so I'm ready for the first I'm going to da daily document um, my 30 day journey I think I'm going to do it on TikTok so once I I think I've no I've set my account up I'll insert it here first of Feb follow me there secondly um, I've got all my affirmations I have need to practice my visualization exercise february i promised myself that i would exercise three times a week um so i will continue to do that and i will walk extra as i need to to fit in with the savers reading um i need to order the new book that i want to order there i think the book is called seven habits of successful people i think i'm going to order that or i might order something fictional just to give myself a chill because obviously i'm doing so much work on myself maybe this is a time that i just need to like chill out this is fly bruh um um reading i've done so scribing um i'm going to start doing that i have a book already that I can start journaling and I will journal there um, as well. And that's it. That is what I'm holding myself accountable. Um, 1st of February, we go. I've got my product planner, productivity planner, boom. Ideas, boom. Miracle morning, boom. That, oh, that's going to be finished by then anyway. Organisation, here we go. That's going in my handbag i want to have it in my handbag that's it guys 20 minutes of rambling i apologize but if you've made it to the end i love you and thank you for staying tuned and join me on this journey read this book do something different 2020 20 girls uh, we're getting it mm. we're getting it we're doing it i'm excited I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we are not mediocre. I'll see you now. Bye.